Hey everybody, it's Daily Dictation 120. Thank you for watching. Now, the new dictation will be about new technology for your body and your brain. Hmm, what do you think? We'll get there in a minute. First, we need to go back to Daily Dictation 119. Ah, that was a little bit difficult. Short, but not that easy to hear. Let's listen again. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done for a while. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done for a while. It's a rainy day today. It's a rainy day today. It's a rainy day today. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something. So I think I might do something. So I think I might do something. That's been needing to be done. That's been needing to be done. That's been needing to be done for a while. For a while. For a while. Too easy! <laughs> no, no, it's not too easy. Actually, I really like this sentence. Believe it or not, a lot of Americans speak like that. Now, that is a country accent, but it's not extreme. All right. It's a rainy day today. It's a, it's a, it's a. Now, I got space over here, a little bit of space. Okay. We have three strong sounds. Strong sounds in American English, the S and L. And the weak sounds in American English, the D, T, T, H. These sounds can cancel these sounds. Issa, Issa. The S cancels the T. Issa, Issa. It's a rainy day today. It's a rainy day. It's a rainy day. Rainy day. A little bit southern accent. Day to day. Day to day. Now, the word, the two. Two, actually. Today, nobody really says today. Usually we say today, today. But this guy says today, today, today. And two actually has seven different sounds. We could say ta or da, t or d, t or d, or to or do is also possible. Now, t and d are the most common. T, d, today, today. But this guy says, today, today, today. Da day, I go. Da day, I go. Do day, I go. Today. It's a rainy day today. It's a rainy day today. It's a rainy day today. Typical American accent would be, it's a rainy day today. 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 So I think I might do something. So I think I might. So I think I. Lots of connections. I might do. Might do similar sounds. We connect. Might do. Might do something. Last lesson I taught you. And Baikudina wrote the answer. Something perfectly. S U M P N. Something. Something. I think I might do something. I think I might do something. That's exactly what he said. Something. Something. Something that's... If you don't know this pronunciation, go back to DD119. Now once again, something. Now it ends in an N sound, and this N can cancel the TH. Something that's... Something that's been... Something that's been... S cancels the T. S cancels the T. Something that's been, something that's been. So it almost sounds like nas, nas. Something that's, something that's been, something that's been. American pronunciation, been, been. Just like when, when, when did you go, been, been. That's typical American pronunciation. Something that's been needin', 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 need, needin', needin'. This is also a glottal stop, like something, nothing, button, 
Wantin, hitin, needin, needin, needin to be, needin to be, needin to be. Here he says d d d. Once again, it's a d. Needin to be, right here. Needin to be done. Needin to be done for a while. For a while. Most Americans do not say for. We say fur, like her. What's her name? Fur, fur. For a while. For a while. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done for a while. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done for a while. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done for a while. <laughs> it's... Okay, grammatically there's a mistake. There is a grammar problem. It is a rainy day today. No problem. It's raining outside today. It's rainy. So, hmm, I think I might do something. What should I do? I might do something that has been, of course this is has, that has been needing, ah, wrong grammar, eh, eh, needed. That has been needed to be done. It sounds a bit strange, but we do say that. That has been needed to be done for a while. So, there was something he needed to do for a long time. Oh, for example, for me, I need to do laundry. Actually, I haven't done laundry. I haven't washed my clothes in two weeks. I have, I think, one more pair of underwear. Ah! That means I need to do my laundry. I've been needing to do my laundry. It has been needed to be done. My laundry has been needed to be done. It sounds strange. My laundry has been needing to be done. That sounds awkward too, but that's what we say. So for a TOEIC exam, change this to ED, but otherwise just repeat and hopefully you understand it's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that I should have done a long time ago. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that I have neglected to do. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that I have been postponing. That would be a much better sentence. but. Typical American, typical American guy, southern accent. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done, needing to be done, needing to be done for a while. Something that's been needing to be done for a while. I really like this. Great pronunciation. Something that's been needing to be done for a while. Now, believe it or not, if you watch a sitcom or a Hollywood movie, you will hear this type of pronunciation all the time. So, just because this man is a mountain man, a country guy, doesn't matter. There are still many things to learn. And these are very important rules. Okay? Do you understand? Now, I asked you guys, what do you do when it rains outside? And uh, Eugene says he likes watching YouTube. Mila, Mila says, the stormier, the better. I agree. I love stormy weather. I love lightning and thunder. I really do. I, it's exciting to me. And, and she prefers listening, listening to the rain. It's relaxing, it's hypnotic, and yet it's exciting. Yes, Mila, I agree. Adil, Adil says, he likes to drive his car and drink hot chocolate. Mmm, sounds good. Be careful driving in the rain. Atona says, coffee, jazz, and novels. Coffee, jazz, and novels. Good combination for the rain. Hapu Gao. Hapu Gao says, he likes listening to soft ballads and country folk songs. Good. Music is good with the rain. Premium says, she likes reading. Yes, reading a good book in the rain is always good. The Pang says, 
studying English. Yeah, with me, right? Uh, Yuka in Japan says she also likes reading. Reading is fantastic in the rain. And finally, Brandon. Brandon was honest. Now be honest, everybody. If it's raining outside, sleeping is also great. Especially a cold rain. Open the window a little bit. Get the cold air, the sound of the rain. Sounds fantastic. Thank you very much for your replies. Let's listen to this two more times. Try and repeat and then we'll go on to DD120. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done for a while. It's a rainy day today, so I think I might do something that's been needing to be done for a while. Okay, DD120 is about modern technology. Look at this guy. This man might be in the 2012 Olympics in London and he might be running for South Africa. Those are prosthetic legs. They're artificial legs. But they probably will allow him to run in the Olympics. Yes. What do you think? Hmm. Who will be faster? Usain Bolt or this guy? I forgot his name, sorry. Well, the, everybody says because he lost his legs, the prosthetic legs, it balances out, so he's the same as a regular person. Hmm. Well, thanks to technology, a lot of people with physical disabilities have a better life. You lose an arm, you lose a hand, you lose a finger, they can give you a fake hand or an artificial arm and it works. People who have problems with their eyes or their ears, they can put inside a microchip and they can, they can see well, I don't know about colors, but they can see a little bit. They can hear things. A lot of grandmothers and grandfathers have hearing aids, and now they can hear well. That's great. But what if you could put a chip inside your head that helped you concentrate to study? You would be a genius. Because many times when we study, we get distracted, we lose our concentration, we think about other things. But if our mind is programmed to concentrate, we'd be really good. And what if we put a computer chip in our head to help our body use energy more efficiently? Maybe, maybe I have a cousin who cannot hear and they put a chip inside her ear and now she can hear. Maybe she can hear better than a dog or a cat. That's superhuman. Superhuman abilities. Ooh. Would you like to have a computer chip put in your head? to give you superhuman abilities? Let's say you don't want that. No, I don't like that. But somebody in your class has that computer chip. And they're the smartest person in the class. Hmm. Suddenly other people will get the chip. They want to be smart too. Then will you get the chip? Ooh, this is a, a difficult decision to make. If you want the chip, great. But if you don't want the chip, what are you going to do? Are you going to be the last person without the chip? Everybody's a superhuman and you're just regular you. What about me? I don't like the idea of a chip. Hmm, 
Sounds kind of scary. Sounds kind of 666. I don't know. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. And you think about it too. And, uh, and write your answer. Yes or no. Yes, I would like a superhuman chip. Or no, I would not like a superhuman chip. And, and what kind of superhuman power? Not flying, not flying. What kind of power would you like to have? That's the question. Here's the dictation. It's not that easy. It's a little bit shorter. Good luck. Well, I guess I should remind you, if you're freaking out right now, that this hasn't happened. Yet. Well, I guess I should remind you, if you're freaking out right now, that this hasn't happened. Yet. Well, I guess I should remind you, if you're freaking out right now, that this hasn't happened. Yet. Well, I guess I should remind you, if you're freaking out right now, that this hasn't happened. Yet. Okay, it's time to say hello to our new subscribers. Lots of people from Taiwan. So, Onion Yue. Yue. Onion Yue. Thank you very much. From Taiwan. Thanks a lot for joining my channel. My... Not animator, emanator. My emanator from the UK. Thanks a lot for joining. From Taiwan, Jotaro Chuang. Jotaro Chuang. Thank you very much. Also from Taiwan, another Jotaro. Jotaro888. Ba ba ba. Is that right? Ba ba ba. I think so. Thank you very much, Jotaros. Uh, from Korea, the Alpha Hacker. Ooh, are you a computer hacker? Please don't hack my site and my computer. <clears throat> From Colombia, Alfantanas, Alfantanas, Alfantanas. Thank you, gracias, for joining my channel. From Saudi Arabia, Shokran2, Asia R20. Is it Asia R20? Thank you very much for joining. From France, Balivre Francais, of course, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. To Ramsey Bit. Ramsey Bit, thank you very much for joining my channel. What? From Antarctica? Antarctica? Nobody but penguin. Are you a penguin? KH Papa Logic. We have a penguin listening to our YouTube channel. Welcome to the channel, KH. US, from the US, Mr. Tira Sak. Tira Sak. Thank you very much for joining my channel. The next person, I don't know, Egg Face Jen. Egg Face Jen, where are you from? There's egg on your face. Welcome to the channel. The next person, I don't know, Realisa. Realisa. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From Taiwan, Brian Chen, 79, 1013. Is your birthday October 13th? That's the same day as my sister. So. Well, you still have six months to go, four months to go. Anyway, welcome, Brian. Also from Taiwan, E2033. Is that pronounced correctly? E? Yves Saint Laurent. E2033. Thanks a lot for joining. From Brazil, obrigado to Cleverson Souza. Cleverson Souza, thank you very much for joining my channel. From Taiwan, CM091111. 1111. What happened on 091111? Did you get married? Thank you very much, CM. Also from Taiwan, show. Show. What do you get to know, show? <clears throat> from I don't know where. DJ X. Dilip. Dilip X. DJ Dilip. DJ Dilip. Thank you very much for joining my channel. From the Philippines. Is it JN or Jayan? Jayan1020, thank you very much for joining my channel. From Taiwan, Ryan Wu, 527. Thanks a lot, Ryan. Also from Taiwan, Alan650722. Alan, thanks a lot for joining my channel. 
from the Ukraine, Spazibo, to Clomind. Clomind, thanks a lot for joining. From Taiwan, Jean Tang03. Jean, thank you very much for joining. From Vietnam, Cam Ung, to Tam Bio, Tam Bio, Tam Bio, Tam Bio, I hope that's pronounced right. Tam Bio 8, thank you very much. From Suriname, is it Suriname? Suriname? I don't know anything about Suriname. Maroto Smart, Maroto Smart, please tell us about Suriname. We want to know about Suriname. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. From Vietnam again, Cam Ung to Kong Bao, Kong Bao Lui Bo, Kong Bao Lui Bo. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Thank you very much. From Russia, Spaziba to Be Changed. I like the name, Be Changed. Yes, our President Obama should learn about that. Uh, from Taiwan again, we have K-Boy0214. What's up, K-Boy? K-Boy? Should be T-Boy. Taiwan. K-Boy? Hmm, why K? From Saudi Arabia again, Bebe1414. Welcome, Bebe. Not baby, Bebe. From Korea, Bangap Salnaida to Design by HY. Thank you very much, HY. Hyunyoung? Just a guess. From Italy, we have Maria Rossam. Maria Rossam. Grazie. Thank you very much for joining. And last time, Black Superman 170, I said was from America, but no. Black Superman 170 is from Thailand. So I need to say, Kokkung Klap. Kokkung Klap. I think that's correct, and thank you very much for joining. Thank you to everybody. Please share my video on your Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is, and I, I really appreciate it. The more people that join, the more videos I will make. And don't forget, I do have another channel, Coach Shane's ESL, Coach Shane's ESL, one word. You can go there and check out some uh, good videos too. Uh, yeah. So have a great day, and I shall see you next lesson. Maybe tomorrow, if not Friday. Friday is Korea time. Bye-bye.